Welcome, I'm Lisa, and today we're making lemon bars. So my recipe um, is actually taken from a book, The Village Baker's Wife by Gail and Joe Ortiz. They own or did own at the time a bakery in California called Gales. And I've never been there, but this book I've had probably for over, well, I've probably had it over 20 years. It is a fabulous book. If you have any inkling of wanting to learn to bake, it is not a lot of pictures, but there's a lot of really awesome tricks there's interviews with very famous pastry bakers and this is about baking and not baking bread baking cookies pies cakes desserts uh cinnamon rolls croissant dough a uh, danish pastry dough it is ridiculously detailed it is what i think helped make me a better baker is this book so uh the village baker's wife and i actually have adjusted a lot of the recipes to after I do them a few times which I'm sure everybody does with most of the recipes out there so the recipe is called lemon lust it's their lemon bar it's super easy and you could follow it exactly to a tea or a couple of the little tweaks that I have done um, but let's get started you need a they say a 15 by 10 inch glass baking pan I use a 9 by 13 and I don't use a glass baking pan uh, they also don't mention on there to grease the pan I'm going to grease it very very lightly with a little bit of the butter from the crust mix so this is a simple shortbread crust on the bottom and then like a lemon custard on the top it's a classic lemon bar it's delicious let's get started first things first we are going to preheat our oven to 350 uh, we need for our crust I'm gonna show you this simple, get the crust going first. So you're gonna take two sticks of butter, unsalted, a half cup of confectioners or powdered sugar, two cups of flour, all purpose is fine, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna take those two sticks of butter. I wear gloves because what we're gonna do, not only is it a little messy, you don't have to do it this way, I do it by hand, you could use a food processor. I use gloves because I'm gonna to be touching raw flour and that gives me a rash. Um, so wash your hands, let them dry, put on your gloves. And I'm gonna do that now because I'm gonna to start to touch the butter and doing so then I can just go right into the mixture. So in your bowl, you have your flour, confectioner, sugar, and salt. You're gonna whisk it just to mix everything up. <clears throat> You're gonna cut your two sticks of butter into into cubes is probably easiest or thin slices is fine too so we're going to cut up our butter take one slice of your butter and put it in your pan again i use a 9 by 13 because that's what i have that's what i use the most often for things like brownies sheet cake uh, lasagna macaroni and cheese any kind of casserole that we make in the house we use that 9 by 13 so it's been used and abused and it's smaller too so it makes a thicker lemon bar and that's why i use that size pan granted we will not eat all of these lemon bars because they're ridiculously tart um, but sweet and they're very good i have entered them in the fair many times and uh, i don't remember if i've ever won a ribbon on my lemon bars or not but people love them so i don't know I don't think I've won a ribbon on my lemon bar, so maybe this isn't a great recipe to show you. We're gonna take our two sticks of butter that we have sliced and cubed and put it in our flour and powdered sugar and our dash of salt mixture. What I am gonna do is I took one tab of butter, one little slice of butter, and I'm going to just lightly grease the bottom of my pan. They don't say to do this in the recipe, and I do it very lightly. I'm wearing gloves, so it does make it a little easier because now I can go right on in there. 
to make our sh our shortbread crust or pie crust. It's almost like a pie dough, but you're not making it into a dough. You're leaving it crumbly. So I just do just the slightest bit, just the slightest bit, very thin. I figure it's okay because this is the butter I'm using for the crust and the crust is going right on that base, that pan anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking with my gloves on, mixing, coating each little block of butter that's in here. And you want your butter super cold because the colder it is, the flakier your layers will be. Maybe they call it a rough puff, maybe. I don't know, Brits, you call it something else. But anyway, so I'm coating each one of my little bits of butter in this flour mixture. And now you could either use a, a pastry blender or like a, a, a masher like you would with your mashing potatoes and you can go in there and mash it, or I just use my hands and I do a, like a sheeting where I just smush the butter between the flour, just like this. And then you can break it up with your fingers and you're gonna just work with this, not to make a dough, but to make it look like kind of sandy, sandy mixture. I do not suggest using a a hand mixer or your mix master, your KitchenAid on this, but you can do it in a food processor. I just don't because it's a lot of more dishes to wash. And I don't like washing dishes, but I do it every day. So we're gonna work this. And this is how I make a pie crust, honestly, is I work that butter. It's hard because it's really cold and you kind of smoosh it between your hands to form like a sheet. So each one of those little slices, you wanna form like a sheet in between that flour. And that's gonna make nice flaky layers. So very carefully, you smush one thing of butter in your hand, put it back in the flour. And there you go, see, so I'm showing you that was a big, maybe two dollops of butter, but you're making like a like a flattened sheet. Put it back in. And you're gonna keep doing this until all those big chunks of butter have been flattened. Okay, after you get all your clumps sheeted, sheet, you're gonna just kind of work it around and it's gonna become very crumbly. But it should be able to hold if you clump it, kind of hold into a whoo, hold into a ball, but crumble easily. That's exactly what we want. Pick up that little bit there. You can see my little extra bits of butter that maybe didn't get flattened all the way. Now we're gonna just pour this in. Save this bowl. There should be barely anything in the bowl. We're gonna use this for the lemon bars. If it is messy inside, you can give it a quick rinse, but if it's just flour, you don't have to worry about it. You don't want any big bits of butter in there, so if there was butter like slammed and smeared on it, then you definitely want to wash it and just reuse it. Then we're gonna pat down our crust. I, oh, I did forget to say, the recipe calls for two cups of flour. I use like two tablespoons less than two cups. And I also press it up against the edge just the slightest bit to kind of form a little crust up against the wall. You might still see little splotches of butter and that's absolutely fine. No problem. Okay, we are gonna start baking this. So now I'm gonna take my gloves off, pop this in the oven, 350 for 15 minutes. Once you put this in the oven, if you need to rinse your bowl, rinse your bowl, clean your workstation and 
as this is baking for 15 minutes, we're gonna make our lemon filling. First things first is we are going to take four eggs and whisk them lightly. This is the wrong bowl to whisk eggs in. Okay, whisking our eggs. And then we're gonna add two cups of sugar into a bowl. We're gonna add the egg and we're gonna whisk. Next step is a quarter cup of flour, all purpose flour, and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder. Half teaspoon. And then we're gonna mix these together because we wanna incorporate that baking powder. We don't want one big clump of baking powder. Now we're gonna add our flour and baking powder and then continue to whisk. Mixing it well. Scraping the sides of your bowl. And then we're going to add one quarter cup of fresh lemon juice and two tablespoons of lemon zest. So basically this is the juice of one and a half to two lemons and the zest of two big lemons or three small lemons. We're going to add that in there. If you have Fiora decilia, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a citrus oil that King Arthur flower sells. If you have that, add two drops. That is not in the recipe. That's one of the things I could change. You can also add extra lemon zest if you want, but I would not add extra lemon juice. There we go. We're going to take the hot crust out of the oven after 15 minutes and pour in the oven for 20 minutes at 350. The temperature does not change. After 25 minutes or so, we take it out of the oven and you can see it is golden brown around the edge, little bits of brownish coloring right along in the center. But most importantly, if I shake it, it doesn't really move. That means the filling has set. This is an egg based filling. So when it doesn't move, that means it's set. We're going to let it cool, cut it into bars, and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please click on the thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for future videos. Have a great day. Thank you.